Alvaro Bautista down in the gravel trap, picking up the bike. So we've seen top rack Raz Gatlioglu bite the dust. And now we've seen the reigning world champion, Alvaro Bautista, come to grief in a dramatic free practice too. He's going to lose the front through 180, you'd imagine. And uh, yeah, just uh, one of those crashes that can happen through there. There's so many times never rider to try and carry that little bit more speed through there on that tight line. You can see there's a little bit of a bobble there for Bautista on the entry and uh, it can just put you that little bit offline. You haven't scrubbed off enough speed and you can just have a crash like that. But uh, for Bautista, there'll be no damage done to the bike. He'll come straight back to the pits, get it checked out. He'll be back out on track once they put a new fairing on. We saw that one of the wings had been ripped off just as is the, the standard for those parts. Yes, uh, much more innocuous crash than it was certainly for top rack Raz Gatlioglu. Uh, but uh, another reminder that none of these riders are immune because they're pushing to the absolute limits. Uh, Alvaro Bautista, unfortunately for him, has been involved in a couple of incidents in the last couple of rounds. Uh, three crashes in two rounds. Uh, one of those definitely not his fault, first bend incident, but uh, the other two spills uh, a reminder of some of his bigger struggles in seasons gone by. He's been able to ride within himself over the last couple of seasons, whereas this year he's really having to push the envelope as far as possible. Yeah, and uh, for Bautista, you can see as he makes his way back to the pits, that damage to the left front wing is gone, but it looks like he has his gear shifter and everything on it, so uh, he should be okay for that. So it should be a relatively quick fix for Bautista, but that's the last thing he needs. He's trying to play catch-up to Raz Gidioglu in the championship standings. He needed to make sure that he's had a, a clear run through this session, and uh, obviously that's not the case. And and to take advantage, let's be honest, of the fact that Top Rack's not going to get any running in free practice too this afternoon, and um, you know, you want to, you, you've seen an issue for your, uh, for the championship leader, and you've got to be poised that if there is an injury there, you need to be in the best possible position to take advantage of it. Yeah, exactly, yeah. And uh, just see what Alvaro has to say. Yeah, it seemed like he was just saying there that uh, the front just just went from him the second that he had uh, had closed it. So uh, for Alvaro, it's uh, one of those moments again where it just shows you that you're always on the limit and. Uh, it's easy to, to have a crash like that, but uh, for Bautista, hopefully it's a case of only a few minutes in the pits and then you get out for the last 15 minutes. Yeah, we're going to see it again here uh, from the inside of the circuit through the 180 hairpin for Alvaro Bautista, turn eight, and uh, down he goes and the bike slides away towards the gravel trap. And unfortunately, familiar scenario for Alvaro Bautista. Yeah, pretty close to the, the moment where he was just uh, start to turn on the gas you can see there he's re released the brake pretty much and you're just in that uh, that moment before the exit and for Bautista just once you've been unsettled on the entry it's uh, easy then for the bike just not to get back the momentum it needs and uh, sometimes a small moment on entry has that impact on the exit.